Alright, let's go find out if this is... Oh, we don't even get to go to the map screen, it just takes us... ...to the Shotgun Castle. Okay, um... Shinosuke's father hero has a lot more grating of a voice than I expected. Okay, that is more in line with what I expected. Yeah, I think that um, Blue Princess character there was invented for this game, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. Okay, so all the villains we've already faced thus far. Also, it's going to be weird to put this up because this um, particular game, I think, was picked out in 2013 by Lexi. So it's going to have the really, really old, um, <laughs> was it 2012? Good lord. Yeah, it, it, it has the, um, the first, the, uh, Lexi in the Earthbound room. <laughs> Flash file instead of the, uh, more current Lexi in front of the computer one. Yeah, it is very possible that this is a movie tie-in game, because they made shin -chan movies all the time, so... This may well be uh, one of them. And they have brought exactly zero of those shin -chan movies over to America. So, I know basically nothing about them, unfortunately. Now we have access. Yeah, this is looking final levelly. Shock Castle. And again, let's go immediately into squirrel form. So I love the whole Gashapon vibe everything has it, as far as the enemies go. I still don't know what exactly the stars do, but since they can be purchased and they're found everywhere, it's gotta be something good. Is that? Oh, okay. Saw the flashing arrows and thought it might be money that could be picked up. So the 100 yen statue thingy is of a panda, and I don't know why. Also, if this turns into a maze of doors here in the final stage, I'm gonna be annoyed.
Well, I guess more final area than final level, but still. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. That's not doing instant damage, so... Nope, can't get any further over there. Okay, so... A bear vending machine robot. Well, not vending machine, but you know, those, uh... Gashapon... Machines. I don't know if we have, like, what would you call those in English? Sort of like the gumball machines, but with toys in them. Hmm. And nifty, totally random news. There is to be a movie made based on the uh, video game It Came From The Desert, in which uh, the desert is overrun by giant ants. So that's interesting and cool. And yeah, uh, capsule machines, that kind of thing. Basically they are called Gashapon machines in Japan due to the onomatopoeia, because Japan loves it some onomatopoeia. posted a picture of a toy link holding toy gashapon capsules just little itty bitty miniature things next to a toy gashapon machine interesting would uh, show it here in the um, actual video display but meh also squirrel it up Here, the much higher jump and the floating will save us more often than, you know, anything else is likely to. Oh, wow. That was fast. the doll does nothing. It's hitting the pink teddy bear uh, puppet that is actually damaging her. Although it would seem that the um, actual hit detection is kind of wonky. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, thank you, Eevee. Uh, Eevee in the chat found out that this game is original and not based on a movie. Nifty. Definitely feels like it could be a Shinjan movie. In all honesty. Uh, uh, we have normal Shinchan, action bastard, flying squirrel, penguin, and elephant as different uh, outfits. And there is one more that is still a mystery, which presumably we will get in the uh, very last area. Seems to be the way of it with uh, things like this. Although maybe it is one of those types of things where, you know, um, I was supposed to get all the stars or find all the hidden things in order to unlock the last costume. So, you know, we may not actually see the final costume. Hard to say. Also, super dire music is very dire. Let's see if this fight has changed any. Oh, it has. Also, duh, blister for blister pack. What the toys come in makes all the sense. And yeah, he's definitely saying lightning blister. Eh? Okay. Um, costume explosion attack, I guess. Oh wow, okay, that explains a lot. This was developed by Inti Creates, um, one of the current most awesome developers that is out there. They do a lot of work with Capcom and uh, with Nintendo and a lot of other awesome things. I believe they were also responsible for the um, retro game uh, master games, the uh, Game Center CX games. Wait, no they weren't. That's Indie Zero. Never mind. I'm getting my I names confused. This almost has an Island of Misfit Toys thing going here. Like, all these bosses that we're facing are... Toys, essentially. <laughs> Who seem to have been... Like, a blister man there was removed from his blister pack and thus... Went kinda nuts. And the others were, you know, the doll with the puppet. And the Gashapon machine action figure thing. Wait, what? Ham hey, Solo! Really? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We're 
final boss is a ham solo pest dispenser. <laughs> Must eject all of the bears. Ah, we'll do Eevee. Um, Eevee wants me to say to uh, advertise for Integrates and say that people should buy Azure Striker Gunvolt OVA on the 3DS eShop, which I am fully in support of. Go support Indie Creates. They are a very awesome developing group. Okay, gotta lower your shield sometime. There you go. Ha! Okay, she's just giving us clues on how to damage. Oh, jeez, now there's two of them. <laughs> okay. Unexpected, but sure. I'm kind of curious if there are any other suits that could even damage him. But we'll just keep on with this. This is working. I assume there will be some kind of health power at some point. Oh! Alright, so if we let the Pez sit there for long enough, it will become another one. Noted! toys. Ah, uh, yes, unloved toys. Alright, so the bear Gashapon was called Regine, the doll was Decal, or Decal, <laughs> and yeah, Lister Man. Yay! They've been given new life! Yeah. 
特別にしんのすけの食べたいものを作ってあげるわ本当本当よ何が食べたいじゃあハンバーグとカレーライスとお寿司と焼き肉と<笑>なんでどんどん高級になってくるよ well, basically... Mitzi said, what do you want to eat? You can have anything for, uh, as a reward for, you know, saving the day. And he said, I want a hamburger and curry rice and sushi and uh, yakiniku. What's... I, I think yakiniku is chicken. <laughs> So yeah, Mitzi immediately regretted that offer. Just double checking on... Uh, yakiniku. Okay, never mind. That is a Japanese dish of grilled meat, similar to Korean barbecue. Toriniku, there we go. Toriniku is chicken. Getting my meats confused. Wow, there's a sentence to be never taken out of context. Hopefully, thankfully, that's not uh, said in the chat where it will be preserved by Loggerbot. Instead, it'll be preserved on YouTube! It's that... it's that song that... song they give the amazingly horrible lyrics to in the, um... Complete with terrible karaoke. Yeah, in the second season of the American show, the first episode, they had the kids sing this song with amazingly awful lyrics of just things kids should not be singing about. Of course, I have no clue what the Japanese lyrics are, so I don't know if it is the same joke of things kids should not be singing about. Although the terrible karaoke is very much the same, whether it's in Japanese or in English. So yeah, overall, I already forget what the entire title of this one is. It's one of the Crayon Shin-Chan games on the Game Boy Advance, and I give this game a 10 out of 10 rating for a Crayon Shin-Chan game. This is exactly... This, this had great voice work, great writing, the game was actually fun. You know, the uh, different costumes and everything, there were a million nods to the various characters and jokes and things of that nature, so everything for this worked for me. <laughs> Fully recommended if you are, you know, a fan of the Shin-Chan series, and if you happen to speak a smattering of Japanese or all of the Japanese, then it will be even better. And now Shin has to go back to school. <laughs> Aw, and he kept the uh, bottle topper. It's gonna be rough going back to school after an adventure like that, but that is the life of Shin Chan. <laughs> And he just said, play it again on hard mode. That 10 out of 10 just got knocked down to a 9 out of 10. Anyways. 
this has been... Let's see if I can... Nope, can't read that text. This has been Shinchan, something or other shotgun. Still fully recommended. Very much enjoyed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are totally done here, and I will see you good folks in the next game.